So match day nine, the first game in October. Not so home to Woking. Not so looking to bounce back after their first defeat of the season at Altrincham last week. But we come up against the Woking side, who will be full of confidence after ending Chesterfield's unbeaten run in midweek. We really have to be on it today and have to put in an improved performance if we are to get anything out of the game. Come on, Ox. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. Well, there goes the nice weather we've had at the start of the season. And here we are. The coat is back again. Returns for another season. I took it to Barnet, but I didn't really wear it. But today, yeah, it's not very nice at all. We've had our nice weather and now it's gone again. Yeah, a few changes to the team. And I'm liking the team. Aaron Domain is in. Cairo Mitchell's in. Oh, um, Kieran Bannon. Alex Lacey returns as well to the defence. He didn't play last week. It's a back four as well. Burnley and Chickson. The bench as well. Francis, Vincent are both on the bench. But the thing for me... Lewis Knight's on the bench. He has been so unfortunate, Lewis Knight, with injuries since his time here, and I'm really looking forward. And just hoping that he just gets a decent run in the side, because the guy's got potential. A few questions to answer today. Number one, will we actually start the game? Because it's taken us so long to start games. Secondly, will when we get into the box, will we have a shot? Man, trying to deliver a decent ball into the box, but sometimes we just haven't got it on the end of it. But yeah, he's, he's started well. We've got to use the wings to our advantage because we have got we have got genuinely you know, players who are going to run directly, players who are going to run in behind, like the main, like Mitchell. We're going to cause them problems. We have started better than recent. Another arm ball. This way, honestly. Yeah, it's only took him like 10 attempts to actually give us a decision. <laughs> Bill, if you're out of your seat, you know he's definitely made a good decision. Honestly, the amount of times it's taken, the amount of attempts it's taken the ref to actually give us something for an actual foul. So, their player went straight through the back of Mitchell. Their player went straight through the back of Mitchell, nothing given, and then when he was down injured, then the ref went through and sort it out. Their player tackles. I think mean, it was Brennan and balls it and the ref just completely waves it away. But we do need to, you know. Good ball. Good ball. Yes, it's dipping! Oh, how did he miss that? Ruben 
Rodriguez and he scores a lovely good finish into the bottom corner deserved lead as well we've deserved the lead that's our first goal scored in the first half hour of a game this season and that's quite unbelievable to believe to be honest Rodriguez, Wooten, I think it was Palmer as well, Mitchell, I think they all had a bite of a cherry there to try and score. How it hasn't gone in, I don't know, but it's a lot better for Knots today, so far anyway. We started the game a lot better, we're running at, running at their defence a bit more, we're getting the second ball as well, it's crucial today, with them being a bit more of a direct team. have it in them to just switch off for a moment and we did just then from the corner but Anthony Patterson with an unbelievable save and then Brimley got there was a foul I think on Brimley the Woking players went over to the linesman to complain about it and gone over well we were smiling aren't we that was that was the best first half of the season that without a doubt there was a lot of energy there I think the main has whether it's him, whether it's the formation, whether it's the fact they've trained, whether it's instructions from the manager, whatever it is, there has been so much more energy and endeavour out there in that first half than we've seen at all this season. That's as good as we could have put together. 1-0, um, OK, I think we deserve a bit more than that, really. We haven't created too many clear-cut chances other than that, but there's been two or three other very good ones. started the second half a bit slow but we're getting into it as, as the half's going along at the minute. We've had plenty of the ball in the last 10 minutes. Last 5 to 10 minutes anyway. Just need that second goal. We need that comfortable margin. Because when it's 1-0 they've still got a chance. Sounds obvious but I hate it. I, I just so dislike sitting on a 1-0 scoreline. It's so nerve-wracking. To the exact same as the world still Come on now! Come on now! That's what happens when you don't get a second goal. We've had chances and we can't complain. We've just got that moment in us though, we have. We have the majority of the game and we're going to do something stupid. Giving this away, it's so annoying. We're panicking into, we're rushing, we're rushing into decisions. We're panicking for no need. Literally, 65 minutes, we were fine. Since then, we switched off and just gave up. Just like that. 65, after 65 minutes, we haven't bothered. Not at all, just switched off, gone to sleep, had enough, went home. It's what happens when you don't take your chances. And you just you don't keep the intensity as you did in the first half. I feel sorry for Aaron the main because he doesn't deserve to be on the losing side today. Ref, get out of the way! Easy picking for the keeper. Oh. Need a striker. Knight's injured again. We need a striker, we definitely need one. It's four, it's four. Macy's been all it's four. Uh, at 65 minutes, you would have certainly said there was only one team going to win this. 
Um, and unfortunately, for the last 25 minutes, we don't seem to have played. The, the defensive errors for the goals have been absolutely awful. Um, and, and your heart goes out to Lewis Snyder for that injury. The little bit of time he was on the pitch, he looked like he, he was creative. I tell you what, not sort yourselves out because it's not good enough at the moment. Ultragum last week wasn't good enough. Uh, 65 minutes today, one nil up. There for the taking, Woking were. We didn't get a second and we gave up. That's what happens when you don't take your chances. We need a striker. We absolutely need a striker. Christian Dennis could have had a hat trick today if he were playing. This is his. It, this, we need someone like that. It's so obvious. We bought him Mitchell and we haven't started. We barely played him up front. Well, that's the weekend ruined. Obviously, not good enough. One of our worst days in this league. Only the second time, I believe, as well, that we've conceded three or more goals at home in the National League. And just a very disappointing day overall where we can go from controlling the game to a scoreline that, at the end of the day, makes it look like we've been torn apart throughout the 90 minutes. It's unacceptable to be in that much control of a game, especially with 20 minutes to go, and lose 4-1. It's unacceptable, it's not good enough. Credit to Woking who, you know, kept going right till the very last minute. They were hard working, they chased everything, you know, and they may, really made us work for it. But we we have to do better, we have to take our chances. The intensity and the tempo in the first half was was great, but it wasn't matched in the second half. And we should have we should we should be tuning up before they even get back into the game. That that's where it's crucial that the game changed on that point. We didn't finish them off. We didn't get the second goal. And when it was 1-0, they always had a chance. We became we became anxious. We lost concentration. We started rushing into decisions. We panicked. We gave away silly fouls. And when we don't take our chances, it leads to us switching off. And when we switch off, we switch off big time. And it hurts us. And that's what happened. We switched off and it led to Woking getting back in the game. It wasn't a 4-1 game. Like the new, If you were a neutral, you would think, you'd look, you'd take a look at the scoreline and think, oh, Woking have torn knots apart there throughout the 90 minutes. But, but when really, if you look at the minutes Woking scoring, it will show you that we've, we've just fallen apart in the final 20 minutes. Woking used what they were good at to their advantage, their set pieces, their physicality, it's what you, you, they, they utilise their strengths. Why do we have to play well in only certain parts of the game and only in one half? Today was the opposite. We played really well in the first half. It was our best first half of the season and it was our worst second half of the season. But why is it like that? Why do we only put certain bits of a game together when really it has to be the full 90? You know, we were winning... We were winning the second ball. We were winning everything in the air. We were attacking at a quick intensity. We were passing it a lot quicker. We the, it was the passing was sharp. Why did that have? Why did that drop? Why in the second half? Why can it not remain throughout the ninety minutes? Why do our concentration levels drop? It has to be worked upon because it, it's not good enough, and we're dropping points and we're losing games now. That's our second defeat of the season because we can't string a full 90 together. So we've got to book up our ideas, we've got to sort it out and we need to work on things and fast because something like today cannot happen again. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Say subscribe if you're subscribed, subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions and as always, Zulush. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,